So the upsides of growing older, there are, there are some. It's not all a downward path. Uh, so one example would be vocabulary. Now, vocabulary is an incredibly important thing. It's like a set of tools, language tools we have. And older people, their vocabulary is one cognitive function that increases with age. And that gives them a capacity for using that vocabulary for understanding and also for remembering, which, which is very useful. One of the things about older people uh, which is related to this is they tend to have fewer negative emotions. They're, they're more biased towards positive emotions. We don't under, quite understand why this is the case. But what that means is if you're faced with a challenging or a difficult situation, older people are less likely, likely to, 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 to be, become dismayed by it. So there's maybe a kind of balance that comes with age which allows them to step back from the situation and not be sucked in by the negativity of it and have that kind of overview. And that, what that does is it leaves their ability to think through the problem or see it in perspective somewhat better than those of younger people. The younger people, particularly in their 20s, you know, they're, they're more likely to jump into a situation and um, older people being a bit slower are probably m more easily able to hold back the initial impulse, maybe to respond angrily, for instance, or to, to, write, to write that awful email to someone <laughs> and respond because they're angry. Um, so there's that kind of restraint that comes with ageing. That's another positive one.